What's up guys? Brian and Colby here. We're going to show you a few uh, wrist locks, uh, a certain finishing method on a wrist lock that um, is effective, okay? It, it just really, you can catch it in some common situations in jiu-jitsu. Uh, I'm going to show you one off from a mounted position, a uh, one off of a triangle, and one off of an omoplata, okay? So some real common situations I think everybody uh, sees, uh, deals with and observes when they're doing uh, mat work. So <clears throat> this is what's what we call uh, the bicep wrist lock, right? So uh, I'm going to show you a couple of different variations. And I'm not going to show any like uh, particular fancy setups like triangles and things, but he's in my guard on this one, okay? And <clears throat> what uh, working from the uh, omoplata, okay? So we're in here. Everybody, I believe, has seen a wrist lock off of an omoplata. Whether you come up and do it with your belly or whatever. But when his, let's turn this way a little bit. When his arm is bent like this, right now his shoulder, his elbow bends 90. What I can do is I can catch that wrist in my bicep bent and just give it a little flex. Okay, it's very tight when you get that compression. You can cover with both, kind of set up into it. So using that bicep to finish on the omoplata, pretty devastating, all right? Now let's say if Colby's kind of like posture his head up a little bit, I frequently do switch from triangles to, or from omoplatas to triangles, all right? One thing my wife loves doing is Kimuras, all right? So here's something else though. Same idea, you catch that here, okay? So a lot of times off of a Kimura, you could catch that bicep wrist lock. You could do a Kimura on this arm as well, but there's that bicep wrist lock on the arm we were on the it on, okay? A lot of times if the arm is straight, I catch it in my armpit, okay? So maybe make a video in the future on the armpit wrist slot, but these are the biceps wrist, wrist slots, right? So if you're trying on a uh, more, it's not working, try and catch that hand in your bicep. Okay, so I mentioned the Kimura uh, from bottom, let's look at one from top. Okay, so I'm gonna get Colby and mount, your head facing the camera. Okay, so I don't use this really for um, anything, but uh, I was rolling with a really, um, you know, somebody I consider to be like a higher level person the other day, and they were using their arm around the body to, turn, to kind of turn on the side and, and like escape mount. Okay, like the, what worries me about that is somebody doing this, okay? Once you get that, there's that bicep wrist lock again. And typically, look, pretty relaxed. If you get it, all you gotta do is a flex, and, that, and you get the tag, okay? A few other ones off this, we got the on the neck, we got the Americana, and then we'll get another wrist lock there, okay? But that's more compressing wrist lock, like the wrist lock we showed from uh, the back escape situations, okay? But if anybody ever wraps their arm around you in mount, it's a really good one, okay? I want to show you one other situation. I get this from like sit-up sweeps and stuff, but let's say some, you're in someone's inside control and they have an underhook and they're trying to come up to their knees. Here. Grab that and compress. Okay, let's turn a little bit. Now, the internet has put us past the point of people doing this, but New white belts still do this, and so do untrained people. And we train a lot of people in jujitsu to be able to deal with untrained people. And, you know, likewise said for the other. So let's say it grabs around the body. Like, you know, like body lock. This is what people do to kind of you know, bury their head to kind of avoid getting uh, punched on and stuff. So look, here. I posture up there, reach back. There's that bicep compressing wrist lock. Right, so I just a little flexion, trapping his elbow here, 
keeping a vertical alignment from my foot to my knee, and I come in like this. Okay? So that's an omoplata, a triangle, and then a sort of a mounted kimura, okay? And you're really doing the kimura inside the triangle. So what I think the takeaway from this video is, if you can't catch a shoulder and arm lock, be looking for a wrist lock. In this, in this situation, it's a shoulder lock, an omoplata or kimura. Sometimes we call a, uh, an omoplata a kimura with the legs. Right? So, uh, some things to think about. We do a lot of uh, wrist locks off the straight arm lock and off the arm bar as well, okay? Off the triangle. So check back um, with us. Go to our channel, type in wrist locks. We've got some wrist locks from the triangle, escaping the back, and we're always putting them out. So here's another video for you guys. Uh, subscribe to our channel, hit the little, uh, Little button over there and you get notified um, it's like right next to subscribe you get notified when we post new videos which is quite often okay thank you for watching